Oh hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. Welcome to my channel. You're welcome to click the thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe and share if you think this content is worth sharing. Um, today I wanted to talk about my personal victory. And I'm calling it my personal victory because it's something that I, the words came out of my mouth today and I didn't even realise what I'm say, what I was saying. And it was in response to a colleague. She said to me, how are you today? And I said, I feel great. And she said, really? And I said, yeah. And in that moment, I, feel, I felt a sense of peace. And I said to her, you know, I think I've achieved personal victory. And she goes, what does that look like? Or what is that? And I said, well, I don't seem to react as quickly as I used to. I don't seem to be alarmed. I don't seem so defensive. I'm not so rebellious. And these are changes that I am not doing deliberately, but what are happening. And it was really strange. And I said to her, you know, she was talking about the relationship she has with her mother and how her mother gets on her nerves and, you know, blah, blah. You know how people go, you know, people talk about, you know, things that concern them. And I said, you know something, everybody is put in your life as a challenge. I always thought that a soulmate was your perfect other. Somebody you didn't argue with, you just clicked, everything went smoothly, there were no obstacles, no conflict, or if there were conflicts, they were minor. And that's what I thought a soulmate was. And throughout my life, I've been kind of looking for my soulmate, in quotes, i.e., not just male, female, but people around who are compatible with me, who, um, you know, we're on the same side. It doesn't take too much effort to make things work. But that is not what we are on this earth for. And as I was saying to that lady, I said, your mother is put on this earth to interact with you. And the fact that you don't get on with her is developing your character. It's helping you because she's your mother. I mean, some people, they don't have no respect for their mothers and it won't apply to them. But if you have a decent relationship with your mother, it will help you to navigate that process so that you won't look at the conflict, in quotes, with your mother as being something negative, but something that is helping you to grow. And so... I was reading, you know, this, I'm still reading it, this Purpose Driven Life, and they were saying, or he was saying, the author was saying, his name is Rick Warren, he was saying that um, people who come into your life, you have to love the unlovable. Those were his words. And when you have that conflict that like that lady had with her mother and you have people who I hear people say all the work, I can't stand that person. You know, I just avoid that person and all that, all those kind of things. Those are the people you need to learn how to not necessarily appease and get along with, but you need to check your own feelings about that person so that you do not react negatively about that person. You know, sometimes um, it is so easy with people that are nice to be nice back. But when people are challenging, it's very difficult to make a space for them in your world. You're more likely to turn your back on them. You can't be asked. People say they give you negative energy. You hear people say, I don't want this, um, those kind of vibes in my space. You hear those kind of words. And when you avoid those situations, you never grow. You never um, come out of that period where you just want peace and happiness. Life isn't about peace and happiness. Life isn't about everything going hunky-dory. Life is about 
overcoming challenges so you become a stronger character, a better character. So when I said to her, I feel great, I was thinking to myself, I don't get so perplexed and agitated when things don't go my way. I don't get so angry if if somebody is um, aggressive or if they're obstructive or anything like that. And so what I was trying to say to her is that, you know, in order to find peace, you have to actually change your reaction to those people who give you grief. So if her mother is annoying her by rebutting on and being selfish, she has to change that around and start looking at it from a different perspective. And, you know, you could just, you don't have to say, I'm not going to react. You can just change your focus because you say, I'm not going to react. You will react. That's just the way um, things go. So I was thinking about how did I achieve my personal victory? And yes, number one, I do do a lot of self-development, watch a lot of self-development books, read videos. I read a lot. I'm watching myself more often. I mean, I remember when I used to read the comments and I used to get so upset when somebody said something horrible. Now I notice I can look at, look, look at a comment and I can actually respond if I feel it needs responding to, or I can leave it. And I don't feel agitated. I don't feel afraid to look at the comments as I used to when I first started. And to me, that means I'm growing. That means I have a personal victory. And that is what I mean. And what else did I have? I got down, um, yeah, I used to see feedback as an attack, you know, depending on how people say things, you can become defensive, we all do it. And like I said, I used to be rebellious. And you know, if one of the people at work said, oh, will you come and do this? Or can you do this? I'd be putting my back up and, you know, oh, why don't they leave me alone kind of attitude. Not to them, but in my head, I was like, you know, make them wait, I'm finishing this and all that kind of stuff. Now, somebody, and you know, my, you know, one of my colleagues was so shocked. She said, she said, oh, can you come and, and by the time she said it, I was up. And she was about to say, I need it quite urgently. And she was really shocked that I was actually up and behind her walking to her office. For me, that is a personal victory. I used to feel um, when somebody gave me an order, or well, order, instruction, whichever way you want to put it, I think it's all in the tone, but it means the same thing. But I used to think, oh, you know, who do they think they are? And these are the people that are paying me, you know. But I had this attitude that was, um, I think it had more to do with the tone they would say it to me in anything else. But now, it doesn't even matter about the tone. That is my point. You don't have to ask me for help in a nice way. You can say, can you come here a minute, please? I need you for this. Whatever it is, I'm being obedient, so to speak. And for me, that's a personal victory because I am not being rebellious. I've always been rebellious. I've always gone against the status quo. And, you know, it's, it, it's, it's good in the sense that, you know, you can be considered an individual, but it all depends on whether or not it's productive. And productive for who? Productive for me or productive for whoever is in my life at the time. So I, you know, I'm not going to be like um, at somebody's beck and call. I don't mean that. But, you know, it, 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 there's a sense of reasonableness about, one's behavior and how you react or respond to different situations and what I'm learning is that it's not personal nothing in this world world is personal it's usually to do with the other person the other person has the issue and once I learned that it's the other person that has an issue if they're rude if they're antagonistic if they're quick-tempered if they're hostile 
I then can extract myself from that and say, okay, I don't need to respond to that. I don't need to respond to that attitude. I don't need to respond to that statement. I'm okay. It's not about me. And that's why I wanted to share that with you because I felt really, really good today. And I still feel good today. I felt happy that I was able to go and help about three or four people in the office. And they were so surprised. It's like they go, huh? Because I've always got this little bit that I say first. Oh, you know, can't you do anything without me? Blah, blah, blah. What would you do if I wasn't here? I've always got a little bit of limp. I can never just get up and go and do what they ask me to do. It's always something that I managed to say. But today, that wasn't the case. Today, I got up. They asked me for help. I did what they asked me to do. And I went back to my desk. And yeah, it's kind of a good feeling, actually. You know, because when you um, fight against things or when you rebel against things, it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of energy. And I feel as though it gives you kind of a sense of peace when you just go with the flow. Just go with whatever's, go whatever's coming, because whatever is coming is meant to come or else you wouldn't be in that certain space and time. I think that is, yeah, also um, with regard to my topics, you know, sometimes I, well, I used to get worried about, you know, like somebody said to me, um, somebody wrote and said, I'm being sneaky because I keep changing my subjects. And I think ordinarily, I think I would have, thought, oh, how dare she say I'm being sneaky? I wasn't quite sure what she meant by being sneaky, by changing the topics. But she said something like, when people respond and you've changed the, the title, it's not relevant or something like that. But when I was thinking about it, I was thinking about, but it's not the title that you would be responding to, I wouldn't have thought. It would be the content, and the content never changes. But what, you know, in answer to that person, if you are watching this video, when I do my videos, I never know what title to call it. I have an idea, and I name my videos. And sometimes I'll even wake up in the night and think, you know, that video doesn't, that title doesn't sound right and I'll change it. And even YouTube in their um, in their training thing, they say, you know, you your um, title has to represent what you discuss, what you have in, in the content. It's, you know, you're not supposed to trick people into reading, looking at your um, content, and the title is something totally different. So sometimes, I'll think to myself, when I'm doing the video, I think, oh, that's a very, very, um, you know, um, catchy title. And then when I think about it, I think, nah, it's not right. It's not really saying what I want it to say. It's not really saying what's in the video. And I'll change it. And then sometimes I think, you know, no, that might be a bit off-putting. That might distance certain people. And that's not really what I want to do. And I'll change it. And I'll change it until I reach a point. And I only do it with a few videos. There's a few videos I do it too. But I reach a point where I think, yeah, that title is sounds okay. And then I won't change it anymore. So I'm sorry if by changing the title, um, it confuses some of you or... It, um, you think I'm being sneaky. I don't understand how the sneaky bit comes in. I'm not quite sure how that works, but that's the only reason. I mean, I don't do it very often, but there's certain, um, especially if I'm passionate about a video and I've spent quite a lot of time on it, I want it to be right. And I want whoever looks at that video. And I'm assuming, to be honest, when I change the title, that those people who have 
watched it are not going to watch it again that's my assumption so if my assumption is wrong so when I put my new title I'm assuming it's going out to new video new viewers who haven't seen it before and therefore they won't know what the old title was so yeah once again my apologies about that but yeah, I was quite happy that I was able to respond to that lady, if it was a lady, and in a nice civil way without feeling offended or anything. And I do appreciate feedback because now I will think about that. When I'm doing my videos in the future, I will think hard, long and hard when I give it a title so I don't have to change it. Because I don't, I don't want to confuse anybody and I don't want to be, appear as sneaky. Yes, I think that was all. So, yeah, um, I just wanted to share my a little part of my journey with you. I think all of you combined, um, my subscribers, the feedback has all helped me to grow. I love um, serving you in the way that I do. I like to um, I like to think that the videos I share with you are informative. I'm growing through them, and I'm getting better at them I'd like to think. Um, I'm still not quite sure um, about my direction. Um, the only thing I know is that when I do videos I like to think that they're informing someone out there about something that will affect them or their family. So yeah and I just like to highlight sometimes I just like to give my opinion about what's going on in the news but whatever it is, I just hope that a lot of you do find it useful and helpful. And I just want to thank you for being a part of my journey. Bye-bye.